So I thought I'd have like a nice chit chatty video with you guys if you hear crows or anything in the background that is my neighborhood. So anyways, so you know lately this girl on the internet or social media is like going ape shit about how the internet's not real life and followers are not everything and all that stuff. So I kind of wanted to do like a video on this because I, I get her perspective and I get everything. So I don't remember this girl's name, but if you look up her, like just put girl freaks out over social media and her name will be there. I don't remember her name. Anyways, and I don't think she has social media anymore because I think she deleted it. But I wanted to go over it with you guys because I thought it was funny. I mean, it's not funny. It's a, it's a interesting subject and I actually saw a video of Lady Gaga talking about this too but hers is a little bit different for like famous people but so this chick she is like a model she, I think she's Australian and she has like a modeling contract like 500,000 people on Instagram and she like wasn't happy okay and I'm not trying to mock her or anything I get it it's like I have a little bit of following on Instagram actually I think it's a a big following but once you get like reposted or more people following you it's still not enough like it's not enough and like yes you get companies sending you stuff and yes you get companies wanting you to do things to promote their products and stuff like that and when I do that I only do products that I believe in because if I if I show you guys a product that I don't believe in, like, ugh, it just, like, freaks me out. Like, I feel like you guys would leave me. And if I don't believe in it, I'm not going to talk about it. That's that. So, anyways, this girl was, like, handed everything. So, she, her Instagram looked seriously like a magazine. Like, she's a model, so she's doing, like, bikini shoots and things like that, and she's gorgeous. And she's not complaining, but she's saying that, you know, it's not life. She's not building real relationships and I get it. So sometimes like I forget to even kiss my husband goodnight because I'm so caught up in my Instagram, my YouTube, my pictures, my Twitter, everything, my Snapchat. And then you get, you get lost in the life that you don't have. Like on Instagram, well for me it's just makeup mostly. And yeah, I post wedding pictures every now and then, but for me, it's just makeup, but a lot of people who are like fashion bloggers or even beauty bloggers, they post what they want to show off on Instagram. It's not real. So you think that someone's just having the most fabulous life, going to Turks and Caicos, going to, I don't know, like nice ass places and you, you assume that they're happy. And yes, they could be happy. I'm not saying that they're not happy, but most of the time it's just for social media and what I mean by that is they want to make their lives look good they want to make their lives look like they're you're famous like you're Kylie Jenner like you're Kim Kardashian like you're the biggest youtuber or biggest I don't know Instagrammer ever and I get it and that's the way you get following and all that and you can you can choose Instagram as a career and you can choose YouTube as a career when you're beginning, like, it doesn't matter from, like, when you're beginning and you don't have that many following and not many following to me is, like, what I've, I'm receiving now and I'm not complaining about it. I'm so thankful for anyone that even watches or looks at my pictures. Um, yeah, like, you're not getting paid for any of it. You're not, you're just doing it straight for the love of what you're passionate about, which is makeup for me. And then, like, fashion bloggers can do that and, you know, and lifestyle bloggers are passionate about that stuff. Because when you're first starting out, you're not getting paid. I just now got sent products. Like, once you hit a certain amount, companies will figure that you're going to promote their products. And it's not like I'm getting paid to promote their products. I'm getting free products, which is nice. But in the long run, you can make Instagram your career if you really um, keep at it. So, I don't know really the thought, like, the thought of this video. I, like, I saw her crying and freaking out, and I'm like, she needs to calm down. She's getting paid to basically not live a life where, hey, you're not on welfare. Hey, you're not 
working at the grocery store 50 hours a week and getting feeling like you're getting nowhere you know what I mean you're like oh, you were handed this so appreciate it and I don't think that she doesn't appreciate it but it's like you need to put things in perspective you're not dying on the street you're not a drug addict who knows if she is or not but she was just a little too emotional and half of it's her fault she needs to go around and create those relationships and also juggle her job at the same time Instagram became her job that's what she wanted that's what she was pursuing and she got a modeling contract out of it anyways I know it's gonna be really controver controversial cannot talk I cannot say that word so let me know what you guys think in the comments I want to hear what your perspective in it of it is like if you had 500,000 Instagram followers and a modeling contract and all this stuff and you weren't happy what would you do would you totally delete your social media what would you do that is my question for you guys and this was a short video but I'll talk to you guys later